The Excess is great at creating percussive type sounds and uh, has super snappy envelopes. But today we're going to talk about how to make these envelopes even faster than they already are. Uh, you'll notice we've got all of our mixer levels set all the way down. Uh, filter setting we've got set on the low pass. Frequency, resonance we've got turned all the way up. And cutoff frequency is set at about 10 o'clock position. And we've got our envelope amount here set at a right a little above 3 o'clock position. And uh, envelope times, we've got a very fast attack time, very short decay time. Sustain is set at zero and just a minimal amount of release. And in our amplifier setting, we are at the attack sustain release setting. And envelope uh, attack is uh, at its fastest time and got a little bit of release time in here. So the trick is, these envelopes are velocity sensitive controlled by this for the filter and by this knob for the amplifier. So what if we take the envelope out that is our filter envelope here and take the other end of that patch cord and we're going to route it to the velocity input. Now basically that envelope signal is when we increase this amount it's going to be controlling the level of our envelope here that is going to the filter and to the amplifier depending on how we set these controls. What that does is as the level of the envelope starts very high all that envelope is allowed to pass and as the uh, envelope decays or gets lower it's going to lower or attenuate the level of that envelope causing it to have a more exponential shape. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to set you on the tripod so we can focus in on the oscilloscope. And if we... So that's what the envelope looks like with the velocity turned all the way down. You know, it's a nice, decent attempt at a kick drum. Let's go ahead and increase the velocity as we play this. And you see that shape's getting shorter? Let's go ahead and just let the arpeggiator fire off. And again, we've got the velocity setting at zero right now, and we're going to increase it and watch what happens to our shape. And let's turn our decay down a little even faster, increase our velocity setting. It may be hard for you to see, but that envelope is Watch these two points there. Again, there's very little velocity. Now let's increase the velocity amount. Now at the same time, if we increase the velocity amount in the amplifier section, we get a much tighter sound. Backing off the velocity of the amplifier. Now let's decrease the filter modulation velocity. So, as you can see, that's a really great way to take an already snappy envelope and make it even more exponential. Great for percussive sounds.